certain names just stand out when you're in a place like Dealer Camp. Great graphics, great frames, Van Dessel. Edwin Bull, how are you? Great, how are you doing? So good, I'm so excited to hear about these bikes. Please do tell, start with the cross bike. Uh, this is our gin and trombones, so we've been pretty well known for cross for a number of years. Gin and trombones is our race machine, aluminum frame with carbon seat stays, light, durable, responsive. Uh, this one's gonna get raced tonight. It's set up with a pretty, pretty nice setup, so the weight's right where you want it to be light, but not light where it's gonna break. Um, we have these in cantilever version, also in disc version. They're interchangeable. So it's got the disc tabs right on the back dropout. Um, you can run them either way. A lot of people are running discs now, but you can do both with this. So you can change your mind halfway through the season, which is uh, kind of a nice little feature. That's nice you don't have to change your frame just because you want to go to disc. No, the fork you do need to change out, but the frame will do both. Still, the modularity of that is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you get on this bike and you figure, maybe I could be Sven Nice. Maybe I could be world champion, huh? Well, this, this is the same frame that we've had for a couple of years. Um, a lot of elite UCI level riders have actually won UCI races on it. So yeah, it's, it's a race bike. I could tell without even really knowing that. <laughs> Let's take a look at this next bike because it seems like it's kind of in an Omni category, but also a, a category of its own. This is our, we've, we've, we take racing seriously, so we've always done the road bikes, the cross bikes. Um, we've always done the fun bikes very seriously as well. This is the Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It, it does everything. You can build it up as a monster cross bike. It fits up to a 2.1 inch tire. Um, geometry is kind of like cyclocross geometry, a little more relaxed maybe, but more road bike-ish than mountain bike-ish, but you can build it up with mountain 29er tires, build up as a townie. This one is getting the townie set up, so it's got the internally geared hub, disc brakes. Um, you can build it up with drop bars, do 100-mile road rides, gravel rides on it. So it's a high-performance townie, but just fun, mainly. It's certainly fun looking. Talk a little bit about the process of designing a bike that looks this cool, but with the requirements of lateral resistance to torque and those kinds of things. Yeah, it's geometry wise, it, it's it's a road bike setup. So you kind of go from there. And then each year previously, we had the country bob. This took the place of that. It's always had either curved tubes or not just your standard double diamond frame. Right. So this, yeah, this one, we did it with the split top tube just for fun. Um, it looks cool. and. Uh, makes riding it even that much better. And the paint job doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, it, well, if you have sunglasses on, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Little mountain bike action over here behind us. Uh, the Ramble Tamble, this is the 2014 uh, kind of redone version. We just got these in last week. So almost the same as the WTF, it's very versatile. All of our bikes are. It's got a split in the dropout for belt drive. It's got adjustable dropout, so you can do single speed or geared. BB30 bottom bracket. Um, it's 599 frame and headset, so it's um, you know an affordable wow. bike, and it's it's still a very light bike, so it's definitely race worthy. Um, just fun bike, you can do everything with it. Edwin, here's an observation. It seems to me as though, in general, the bike business, the bike industry, is going toward greater specialization and more categories, and yet. It feels like you guys are, are kind of going in your own direction of being more variety in a single kind of frame. Is that a, a philosophical thing at the company level? Um, no, I mean, versatility is nice. Um, there's no reason you can't build a little versatility in. So, you know, our new cross frame we have coming out, that will be only disc specific and only cantilever specific. You have to choose one or the other. But on a frame like this to do the split adjustable dropout, why not? There's no weight penalty. It's, you know, just makes that much more user friendly. Well, and it seems like to me it may even appeal in a unique way to both the rider who doesn't want to get really into things, but also to the tinkerer who always wants to be working on their bike, changing things out and yeah. seeing what they like better. E exactly. And especially for a frame at this price point, I mean, it's still a high performance frame, but um, it's very versatile. So you can build it up, race it geared cross country next year build it up as a single speed 
So. And in a world of astronomical frame and fork prices, your price point for the Ramble Tamble is exactly, impressive. exactly. And the weight, it's the the frame weight is. 15, 1600 grams, so it's not, it's going to be maybe a pound heavier than your high end carbon frame, but when you put it all together in a complete bike, you know, it's marginal. And it's not that, that long ago that that weight for a frame was really good. It was one of the lightest weights of any yeah. bike made. Exactly, yeah, and we do, we do carbon as well, but I mean, one of the things I'd like to point out with aluminum is I really like the ride of aluminum. You know, everyone's carbon crazy, but, um, there's still there's still a place for high end aluminum. The ride quality when you do the high end is is very nice. It's like responsive um, and comfortable as well. Absolutely, Edwin. If you would tell folks where they can find out more about all of the Van Dessel line. Uh, our website is vandesselsports.com. You can go there. We have everything, and um, we're at a lot of events. So we'll be at cyclocross nationals, a lot of races in Colorado, East Coast. We've got the bus out, so. We're at a lot of demo events. If people see us out, they can always come up, ride the bikes, and uh, see them for themselves. Edwin Bull from Van Dessel, keep an eye on these guys. I th see more good things coming. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you very much.